Hey everybody. So I just finished my baby um, clothes haul or baby buys video and um, I just wanted to do a quick update. My um, computer was low on battery and I don't have time to plug it in, charge it, and do another video with my webcam. Um, so I'm on my phone, which is totally not flattering by the way. I look blue and I look really like, I don't know, my face just doesn't look that great. Um, so my quick update is that, um, I told you guys I was getting ready to do my room and that my friends were moving and they are, but the date's been pushed back. So, um, they don't even know yet, but they're guessing sometime between end of September and, um, the beginning of November. So that's when everybody's leaving. My best friend, um, that lives with me is gonna do two weeks here and then two weeks in San Diego for the next couple months because that's where her parents are living now. Um, so that's what's going on with that. Um, my other best friend, I have two best friends and then my boyfriend who's pretty much my best friend, but my other best friend Joe, um, is moving to Las Vegas, um, mid-September. So we're having a big going away party for him on Monday. Um, so that's what's going on around here. Job's good. I love my job. Um, the one problem, of course, there's always going to be a problem. Either you're not going to like your job too much or there's going to be a person there that, you know, you don't get along with or something like that. But the one issue that I've been having is that they're not giving me enough hours, not even close to enough hours. Um, there is no way I would be able to sustain living by myself or living with my um, boyfriend if we were to get married, um, to make that happen right now. Um, I'm getting about four and a half, five hours a week. So, it's pretty bad. Um, so I am avidly looking for another job, uh, whether it be part-time or if I can take up a full-time and maybe work a, one day at Carter's. I really would like to keep the job only because I love it so much. I love the people and the discount is really nice. Um, when everything's on sale and then you get a discount on top of that, I could literally buy all my baby clothes that I would possibly need for my first child for, I'm gonna guess, probably like $250, $300. Done. End of story. I'd probably have everything I could ever need or want. Um, of course, there are other things that you need to pay for, but I'm all about saving money, and um, I have saved up quite a bit uh, in the last two paychecks that I've got. I've been able to kind of like hoard my money away um, and save it, but not any substantial amount that could do me any good for the future. So, good for little, you know, emergencies that come up or just in cases type thing, or when I, you know, I get weeks like, um, or paychecks like I'm going to get next time where I only ended up working seven hours in two weeks, um, then not going to do me any good. So, uh, you can imagine, you know, I am 21 and I'm trying to save up money and get married and, um, have kids and stuff like that. Um, and it's kind of difficult when, I don't have means to even move out of my parents' house. So, um, it's frustrating and I'm just trying to take it, you know, day by day and stuff like that. Um, and it's nice having my YouTube videos to watch and all you guys to talk to, um, when things get rough. So, uh, definitely, definitely frustrating. Um, hopefully... I'll be able to find another job or a full-time job. Um, if you guys don't already know this, I stopped going to school. Um, I don't have an AA. I don't have any degree at all. I've only taken probably 15 to 20 units. Um, I am not a very good focuser in school um, unless it's like a class that I really want to take. Um, so that's always been a problem. I've been thinking about going to online school and getting an AA, so at least it'll help me a little bit if I want a full-time job. Um, I am waiting 
um, my boyfriend to finish school and get his BA and um, get a job so that we can move out and hopefully move to a different area because I don't like the area I live for various and sundry different reasons. <laughs> um, so it would be really nice if that would happen in the next couple years. Um, but I try not to pressure him. It's hard, right? When I'm sure all you guys, you know, if you've had to wait on um, doing things that you guys want to do, like your dreams, you know, my dream is to be a stay-at-home mom, to raise my kids, um, to help them, to possibly homeschool them. Um, I would love to do all those things, and that is pretty much my dream in life, and to be a good wife and stuff like that. So that's what I want, and it's something that takes time, and it takes a lot of waiting, and it's a very frustrating. So that's my rant, <laughs> um, or my sob story. I didn't mean to go on about that, but it's very frustrating. So um, this is just my general update on what's going on in life. Um, my room is done. Uh, I will add in a clip, um, in the next five seconds or so of, um, the paintings, or the paint on, in my room, and of my bedding. So, um, thanks for watching, and, um, if you have any suggestions, advice, um, or anything, leave it in the comment box below, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, you guys. See you later. Alright guys, so this is the clip of my room. Um, sorry, the window's kind of like... Bye. There's the bedding. That, this is from the door, by the way. This is the door. It's kind of a mess going on right there. My Victoria's Secret bag. That's kind of like trash. And then those are frames I still have to hang up. So then we have walk over here. This is my little stand, phone, cubby holders, um, I home right there. These are my curtains. I'll show you an up close view. Okay, there's the paint, the stencil. It goes across the entire room. I'll just show you. All the way around. And there's the door. Okay. This is hanging on the wall. It says live, laugh, love. This is my cubby holder. Everything's organized. My things, my friend's bed is down there. That's the lamp. So then here's the here's a good shot of the bedding. Everything matches and the curtains have um chandeliers on them and then those are the curtain rods got a little twisty on it this is the picture I took let me turn off the light so you can actually see it this is the picture I took um, it's that castle in the clouds if anybody knows where that is um, I believe it's New Hampshire and this is a picture of I took that you really can't see because of the glare there's a different angle on it I call it the never-ending road so yes, I'm a photographer, and my um, dream catcher that I got in Arizona. So there is, every, is everything, and my purse hanger, with all my purses on it. So there's a little room tour of what's going on in here. Everything's pretty organized, we've got clothes in a basket, and my basket's down there, but everything else is pretty organized. So there's the paint again. Just the way I wanted it. So I'm happy. Alright guys, bye.